right, welcome back. Thank you for your company. There are many great benefits of online shopping, finding the best price, heaps of great product options, and of course the convenience. But before going online, you need to be aware of the potential dangers. Cash Rewards co-founder, Lorica Clark, is an expert in the field and she joins us now. Okay. <laughs> Lorica, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. This is really important advice. Now, I understand one area of danger is replica products or counterfeit products. Explain Absolutely. that for us. Yeah, look, if you're going to be buying your designer goods online, it's always good to go through your bigger trusted department stores mm -hmm. online, you know, because then you know yeah. that that's what you're getting. Mm. Uh, but if you are going to use your Ebays or your other resellers, it's important to just check their, you know, uh, replica and counterfeit guidelines, you know, making sure they're all in place and, and that the actual images that that supplier is giving you are the actual item that they're selling and they're not just stock item images. It's actually a very funny episode, mm. I think, of This American Life where they told the story of someone who bought a dining table set with chairs and everything and thought, wow, this is really cheap. And then when it arrived, it was actually about that big. Oh, God. <laughs> and it was for a doll's house. Oh. And they hadn't checked the oh, size. No. That's not going to work. So many, many people re rely on reviews by other people about mm. products. You know, well, are there many fake ones? Yeah, well, people always like to talk themselves up, don't yeah. they? And so this is something that we must be conscious of. And we always got to be mindful that what we're reading is actually what it is. Because the power of social media is uh, really great, you know. And so the, how we get influenced by what people are telling us mm. is where we've got to be really cautious. So best way to do, you know, your, your research about stuff is to go on to your social media and see what they're saying about it. So if you were to go to the site or the brand's Facebook page, see what the comments are that the people are actually writing. And if you're going to another forum and it sounds way too over positive, yeah, I'd be a little bit sceptical. I always so. knock off the first 5% as, as being from <laughs> the product people and the bottom 5% yeah. their competitors and go for the middle That's one. Right. That's ah. it. Yeah. The old saying goes, self-praise is no recommendation. <laughs> um, now, true. This is a really scary one, identity theft. How do you know how do you what about when you're putting your credit card details on there or whatever how do you know that they're just not skimming them or yeah. taking all your money what yeah, you no, look, well, yeah, the first thing to do is on your computer, make sure you've got all your antivirus, your anti-spy software and, mm. and your firewall. That's all got to be in place, you know, and that's just peace of mind for whatever yeah. you have on your computer. But also, it's really good, you know, if, if you are going to a smaller site, PayPal, you know, a third yeah. party like that, is it just a good trusted way to make sure that your money is safe, uh, that your credit card isn't being abused. Mm. But a good way to check that the site is a secure site, if it is a smaller site, is there are three little tips that, you know, people should be looking out for. In the browser up the top, in the bar, a little uh, padlock. Yes. Right. Uh, Look for the padlock. When it comes to pay. Yes. Yeah. Paying. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I do online a lot. Yes, yes. So it's good to know that. Yep. Yeah. And then in your HTTPS, colon backslash, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, so that S is standing for secure. Ah, oh. right. oh, yes. 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 yes, yes, for safe, secure. And what else? Was there another one? And there is another one, yeah. and that is when you put the address in, if you're in a new browser, if it goes green, mm -hmm. you're in a safe place too. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's now, what about it. hidden costs? Because often the devil's in the detail. How can we get caught there? Well, the good way to keep that in track is say, so if you are going to go and buy something from a, uh, a larger, you know, and, uh, what I'm trying to say is if you're getting a bigger item, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, better off getting it from a closer in yeah, store yeah. Mm. because then the freight's not going to be as big. Mm. But, you know, click and collect is huge now. Yeah. Like it's really, really big. And, and what meaning you go well, and pick you it up? Buy it online. Mm. So you're saving your time having to go into the store. But then you can go in and you and you just collect it from the depot down there and it's sitting there waiting for you to, I mean, to go and grab. The biggest danger of course is when you're shopping, you find your credit card next to your keyboard and think, can't wait to see what drunk me bought so for me. You have a couple of shirts and then go online shopping. I feel that. Ooh. I feel that. Ooh. Lorica, thank you very much. That's great advice. Thank you. <laughs>